In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best concepts out of the U-Trips formation, Man 23. If you would like to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure to become a Patreon member. It's only 10 bucks to do that, and it gets you access to all of our Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any new updates to those ebooks. And we're actually going to be dropping a brand new U-Trips offensive uh, kind of revamp this week. Now, the play we're going to be taking a look at out of the U-Trips formation is the Y-Option wheel play. And the really the reason I like this couple reasons number one it's a great concept and number two it's actually kind of a quick stat play because it only requires one hot route to make it super super effective so we're gonna jump on the field here and i want to show you the setup here very very simple um all we're going to do is we are going to take our tight end and we're going to put him on a corner route and this tight end apprentice corner route from u trip specifically is one of the best corner routes in the game you see it gets that nice separation of the sideline and we're able to really attack um the man coverage well now that was a deep route knockout now what i want to do now is i want to show you what it might look like let me put an inside shade there and i'll show you how this this route combo um is really really good against man coverage and specifically uh, the man coverage that we all know and love as inside inside shade um, with a KO. So you'll see here that even with you know a pretty solid way to play man coverage, this still has potential to be very effective. So you see here, here's an inside shade. Now he won't light up, but he will still get that cut, and you can actually possession catch that in front of the KO relatively well. Now another thing that's growing in popularity right now is uh, basically this idea that we're going to isolate this running back in man coverage. And so what you'll see with this is this route to Keith Byers over the top. Uh, if you get a good one-on-one -on -one matchup, just the way the locomotion works in this game, you can highball and freeform that up and over the top of the defender. And that's an inside shade. He just doesn't have deep route knockout. If they don't have deep route knockout on the defender that is guarding the running back, it's almost a guaranteed route. It is it is this specific wheel route out of Wabsha wheel. I think super effective. Again, just highball, freeform, up and over the top of the defender. And as you can see, if they're doing that scissor adjustment or if they're doing those kind of adjustments, uh, this can be really, really effective. I'll show you what I'm talking about with the scissor adjustment. So the scissor adjustment is basically where they'll take that safety and they'll man him up on that inside or that solo receiver. And then they'll man this guy up. People do this from bunch all the time as well. This seam wheel to Keith Byers, they don't have a zone over the top of this. Um, it's just almost always going to be a big play for you. High ball, free form up and over the top. And again, you see how consistent that throw is. Now, not only is that route combo good against man, uh, but another thing that you have against man is they are going to need to respect the fact that you do have short out elite on this outside receiver. If he gets that free release, as you see right there, you can throw that up and over the top of the man coverage as well. So now this kind of gets us into, again, just kind of a different way that they're gonna have to play man coverage. So one of the things that people are starting to do right now, growing in popularity, is this idea of basically off man coverage. We're not gonna press you, we're just gonna literally play uh, basic man-to-man -man, uh, coverage. If they do that, um, then like I said, you have your corner route, but you also have this post route over the middle of the field that is typically pretty effective as well. Now that is the one route on the field that can certainly get KO'd, especially if they have a medium route KO. Obviously their user is gonna you know, kind of be in the area as well. But from what I have found, typically, um, you can basically just kind of get this away from the KO, and then you're gonna have pretty decent success with that route against man coverage as well. Now let's talk about zone coverage. This is also really effective against zone coverage. And the one zone coverage I wanna start with is this cover two coverage. Um, this cover two coverage is pretty is probably the best, um, honestly, for this. But what you will see is this outside fade. If I freeform that up and out, you see that that deep half can actually get there. And another thing that we're starting to see a lot of people like to do is they love to be able to, they love to basically uh, put their safeties in outside thirds uh, to try to get them to get to the sideline a little bit more effectively. One little simple counter to that is to just streak your tight end. And you'll see when we streak our tight end, now that deep half is going to kind of be stuck in no man's land. And oftentimes that can be a pretty big play for you over the top of the cover too. So that's, an, that's a counter um, to a really good setup, a really good defense. Now another thing that counters the cover two coverage is really just the flat route. Like you can just throw this flat route right here. You'll see right there. I can just throw that flat route take my easy yardage, you know, 10, 15 yards. If you wanted to put that flat route on like a whip route, um, you know, you could do that as well. Another really simple tip uh, is if they are running a lot of cover two to basically just invert who's on the streak and who's on 
the flat. So instead of streaking the outside receiver, now we're going to do it like run it like this concept. And a lot of times you can throw that. Um, you could throw. We could have thrown the smoke screen there, or you could have highballed and freeformed it. But the cloud flat is really, I think, the best adjustment. But you have to remember that people typically in this year's game are going to send at least four. So you, you're probably going to get at least four man pressure. And so that means that they're typically not going to have that vert hook in the way right there. And so when you run the play like this, there is a window to throw this before it gets to the cloud flat, kind of in that little pocket right there. So that's another thing to kind of remember um, with this setup, specifically as it pertains to cover two. Again, cover two, I think, is the best zone coverage for this. But you can kind of throw this in that little pocket there. I waited a little too long. But you can kind of throw it right off the break against the cover two, especially if that slot corner blitzes, um, which is kind of what you see a lot if you're seeing a lot of dollar you know, you're, you're probably going to get pressure off that side. So again, just right in that little pocket right there. Okay. You can, you can pop, kind of pop that into there uh, as well. Now, the other thing with cover two coverage is the running back route can kind of get in some soft spots. So what you'll see here is if I wait on this, I can high ball free form up and out. And as you see right there, if I can get that away from the KO was enough, um, that can be a pretty good, pretty good option for me as well against the cover two. Where this play really shines is against cover four, cover three. Um, it is really effective against cover four and cover three. You're going to see right here, this corner route is just going to be super clean. Um, hopefully, he'll catch the ball, but it's, it's wide open. It's, it's literally about the freest throw um, this year against cover four, cover three coverage. Really, really, really wide open, even if they're in a drop eight. Um, that's just that that's going to be open. They have to have... Uh, some type of cloud flat over on that side of the field, which, like I said, then it pairs up really nicely with us, you know, popping, uh, popping like a, a seam streak to the tight end if we ever want to get around that. But you'll see here that was cover, uh, cover three. Here's cover four. You just wait on that clearance, and you see it's just wide open. So you have that nice high low read. This is known as a sale concept and air raid offenses. Um, offenses, you know, this is kind of a cornerstone passing concept of any offense this year. Um, and specifically, you have to be able to attack the sideline well. So this route right here, I think this this corner route is one of the best in terms of just getting man-to-man -man separation in the game, um, specifically from U-trips, it's very difficult to defend. So that is the sale concept out of U-trips. If you want to get my the rest of my U-trips offense, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive, defensive eBooks, as well as all of our updates to those eBooks. So thanks for watching the video and head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.